Welcome back to News Generation. But still in the news, last week we brought you the presidential inauguration, but the president wasn't the only one inaugurated. 275 members of parliament and the Speaker of House were also sworn into office. Having been elected a member of parliament, do. They have been called the sixth parliament of the Fourth Republic. New members of parliament are elected every four years after an election. They are confirmed every time, and this is the sixth time since the Fourth Republic of Ghana. What is parliament? Parliament is the law-making body of government. Parliament is also responsible for controlling government spending. Parliament also keeps an eye on the executive body of government, that is the president and his ministers. Let's see what you guys out there know. What do you know about Parliament? Uh, please, they discuss about uh, matters, like the MPs come together to talk about problems, example problems, to how to solve Ghana's problems and other things. All I know about Parliament is every four years, they change the parliamentarian and they change the uh, Speaker of Parliament. Uh. What is a Member of Parliament? A Member of Parliament is a representative of the voters to parliament. New members of parliament are elected by the voting public every four years during parliamentary elections. What do they do? They make laws and represent the people. They also give their opinions on policies made in parliament. An MP can, however, lose his or her seat. For example, Honorable Doa Jahu lost his seat as an MP when he was appointed as the Speaker of Parliament. And what do you guys think? The work of the MP is to represent their constituencies and to send their problems um, through them to the parliament, yes, so that um, anything they are facing, like, it will be done. Yeah, that's it. How many parliamentarians do we have? Actually, I know it's 2, 230. 275. Oh, for that, I don't really know. About four something. What is a Speaker of House or Speaker of Parliament? The Speaker of Parliament presides over parliamentary proceedings. Speakers are nominated and then elected. The Speaker is assisted by two deputy speakers, first and second deputy speakers, who are elected at the beginning of every parliament. They must come from different political parties for equal representation. What about Speaker of Parliament? Speaker of Parliament. That's the person who talk for the Parliament. Also. What does the Speaker of Parliament do? Oh, he controls the members of Parliament. Who else is in Parliament? The Clerk to Parliament. He advises the Speaker of Parliament on best practices of the House. He is also consulted by MPs on matters of procedure. The clerk only serves parliament and has no responsibilities to any political party. Chief Whip The chief whips make sure members of parliament attend and vote according to party decisions. There is a majority chief whip and a minority chief whip. So we have a new parliament which has started its work. The constitution demands that standing committees be appointed at the first meeting of parliament after the election of the speaker and the deputy speakers. Look out for part two where we bring you more information on how parliament works in practice, including the proceedings and the work of committees. Now let's do something fun with sports. Would you consider boxing as a way of getting out of poverty? Well, for Vukon boys and girls, it is both a recreational sport and a means to get out of poverty. It has become part of the local culture since the area for more than a decade has produced some of Ghana's best boxers like Azuma Nelson and Ike Kwate. <laughs> Bukum, Jamestown, is one of the poorest towns in Accra. In the dusty Bukum, you will find a ring lined with torn canvas and a bunch of young boxers learning their craft under expert support. This place is the unofficial University of Boxing in Ghana. We are presently at the Black Panther Gym. The name proudly mentioned is Stephen Quay, 
a 15-year-old boy training in his black boxer shorts. Steven is furiously hitting his red punching bag. Every punch brings him one step closer to achieving his goals of becoming a professional boxer. Every day when they say they I should go to school, I don't go. I leave the school and I came to train. I can go to school, but I don't perform as in school. Boxing, I perform as so I want to learn the boxing. Young boxers start from 9 and 10, so by the time they are 15, their skills and experiences are considerable. Coach Carl Loco stressed the importance of training from an early age. Yeah, normally, you know, it's very, very good when you start something, I mean, in, at, your young, at your young age. By the time you grow, you get the experience, you know what it takes to be a boxer or whatever. So normally those of them doing it on a, at a young age normally counts out to be the stars. Even us like Joseph Agbeko, Joshua Kloti, they all started at an earlier age. Here at the Bronx Boxing Gym, some of the children who are boxing have come on their own. Others are brought by their eager parents. Nathaniel, 10, and Daniel, 11, both have a passion for boxing and have been training for a year now. They start training at 4 p.m. after school. Boxing is good for me, so I want to be like um, some of the other boxers. Like which ones? Like Merida and Azuma. I want to become a boxer to turn out like a Pakao Merida and this ones. He also urged parents in Bukum to take their children's education serious. Yes, urging all the parents who have any child, child, not because of boxing, but for them to make that be serious about their, their children, I mean, education. And as I've told you, my gym over here, if you want to join the gym and you are not going, you don't attend any school, I will not take you. So I'm encouraging all sportsmen or all boxers, all juvenile boxers to, I mean, think about school or the parents to have their, I mean, their awards to go to school. Bukum lives for boxing and worships its fighting men. So boxing appears to be the passion of this town and with the kind of fighters it has produced in the past, people in this corner of Accra should be very proud. However, since most of these professionals have come to the end of their careers, all eyes are on the next stars like Stephen, Nathaniel and Daniel to carry on the Bukong Boxing Champion name. Now from boxing to the stories that made headlines for sports. Waste management company Zoom Lion has donated 50,000 US dollars to the government of Ghana to help Ghanaian fans to go to South Africa to support the Black Stars at AFCON 2013. AC Milan's footballer Kevin Prince Boateng has been invited to the United Nations for the International Day for the Elimination of Racial Discrimination in March. The Ghanaian midfielder walked off the pitch during a match between Milan and 4th Division club Propatra after being racially abused by home fans. The world's most famous cyclist Lance Armstrong confessed to Oprah Winfrey about taking drugs to enhance his performance. Armstrong was accused of using drugs to win all seven of his Tour de France competitions. The cyclist was stripped of his Tour titles and lost most of his endorsements after a close colleague of his revealed the secret. And that was Sports Round. We have to go for a break, but when we come back, we will be doing some drumming and dancing. Please stay with us. <laughs> 